surgical procedure used to reverse a vasectomy. The animation provides a brief overview of the relevant anatomy with the vas deferens, prior vasectomy site, epididymis, and testicle highlighted. The procedure is performed by placing the patient under anesthesia, after which a midline scrotal incision is made in the scrotum. This is usually not much bigger than is required to perform the original vasectomy. The segment of vas deferens that was previously blocked or transected at the time of the initial vasectomy is identified, brought through the surgical wound, and resected. After this, the fluid is sampled from the testicular end of the open vas deferens. This fluid is then analyzed under a microscope to determine if any sperm are present. In this particular case, an abundant number of modal sperm are visualized. This would suggest that we can proceed with reattachment of the vas deferens directly. To accomplish the reattachment, initial stitches are initially placed to reapproximate the vas deferens. After this step, several intraluminal smaller sutures are placed to bring the lumen of the vasa together. Additional sutures are then placed to completely enclose the opening of the vas, and final supporting sutures are placed to reinforce the newly attached vas deferens. Once the sutures are tied, the final connection is complete, and the vas deferens is returned to its normal location. The animation demonstrates the final result of a vasovasostomy.